All right, we're left with our right side view, and what is it going to look like from this side? Well, it's going to kind of look like a rectangle. I'm going to see the top all the way to the bottom. Then I'm going to see the notch and the end of this plate, and that's it as far as visible lines go. So I'm going to draw a rectangle, and I'm going to start on this bottom corner. I'm going to the left and up. So to the left is my depth of my part. That's a negative 2.5 comma. Sorry. And then positive, how high is it? 2.75 in the Y. All right. Now I could have just projected lines and drawn them, you know, in offset lines. But sometimes it's easier to draw a rectangle. And then I'm going to draw a line right here for this plate. And I'm going to project from here. Object snap tracking over, left click to start, left click to stop. Now that's really all I see down here. I don't see anything underneath that plate, that top plate. But I do see the edges of this slot. So I'm going to use my temporary track point and go around my miter line. So line. Immediately after you say line. Shift right click or you can select on the object snack toolbar, one-time usage, temporary track point. Hover over an edge to acquire it, drag it out, left click to turn, drag down, left click to start your line, left click to stop your line. Now once I have those, I can offset this over one inch, or I could do that temporary track point again, but that slot, that notch right there is one inch wide. So I'm going to offset one, is already my offset, so I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to offset this to the right. So now we have our visible lines. So now we're going to go to the hidden lines and project geometry. I'm going to make a note. Okay, so the first thing we do is we set our layer to hidden. In the front view, what is hidden? The hole is hidden. So I'm going to draw a line, and I'm going to hover over the western quadrant, drag down, left click to start at the intersection, left click on perpendicular. Now I can offset that hole, the diameter. I can offset that line, the diameter of the hole, which is 0.75. I'm saying the wrong words all over the place. So click on this, and copy over to there, and that's done. What else do we have up here? And if I just kind of use my cursor and go from top to bottom and make sure that I have all that geometry. I have that top edge. I have this top edge. What is underneath this front view that I can't touch up here? So I have the top edge of the top plate. There's a corner right down here that I cannot touch from the top. Also another corner on the bottom side. So if you just kind of look along the bottom side, those are going to be hidden in the top view. So I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to project from this bottom edge. Left click to start up to perpendicular. Left click to stop. Enter. Enter to repeat the last command from this point. Project geometry. Left click to start. Left click to stop. Would you have thought about those two? It's kind of hard, but sometimes when you have these, you know, these crosshairs, it makes things a lot easier. What's missing in this front view that is showing up up here? I have this notch that I need to project down here. So I haven't gone view to view doing this. Sometimes I, I like to go back and forth. I'm going to draw a line and track from this point. Left click to start and left click to stop. You guys see anything I missed? All right, over on the right side view, we have a plane right here that I cannot touch. So if you go behind this plane, what is there? There's an, a plane right here that I can't touch from the, the right-hand side view. And then there's this whole situation right here. And I'm going to show you a trick about this. So I'm going to draw a line, and I'm going to draw it from 
here, drag over, left click to start, left click to stop. Now, a lot of people want to draw the edges of where this is, but this is all smooth. So all we see is this edge, and it's just completely blended left and right here. But I want to ask you a question. If I looked at this, if you look at a hole or a cylinder in any view from the side, it looks the same, doesn't it? It looks like a rectangle or vertical lines. It looks, it the side view over here would look the same as this, wouldn't it? So I'm going to show you guys a really big trick, and it's one of the hidden um, snap points. It's not even on your list in AutoCAD. It's called mid between two points. It's not listed. It's I don't see it up here. So it is one of the best things since sliced bread. If you have to dimension the midpoint of an open door and you have no line, this is the way you do it. Same thing with a window. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and put it over here. But when I copy it, what point is the same from this view to this view? Well, it's going to be right in the middle of this, right? That's where it wants to end up is right in the middle. So what could I copy from over here? I could copy from the midpoint of that rectangle, but I'm going to teach you guys mid between two points such that if I selected this point and this point, it would pick up the middle. It measures it, divides by two, and selects it. I'm going to grab all this with my blue box so I don't select anything but everything that's inside. That's dragging, clicking, letting off your mouse, and dragging from left to right. Now I'm going to copy it, C-O or C-P. And I'm going to do this, shift, shift, right click. This is on this menu, but it's not up here. And if you wanted to type it in, instead of, you know how we used to type from, for this from point, this from object snap, you can type M, the letter M, the number 2, and the letter P mid between two points. So mid between two points. And let's say I select this intersection of this line and you could select the end point of this line, whatever's going to get you that midpoint. And it grabbed it. What is going on there? Nope, it didn't grab it right. I don't know what it didn't select. So I'm just going to say copy, and I'd already pre-selected that, so I'm going to use this as an opportunity to show you something. I'd already selected that entire whole embossed set, and it asked me to select the objects. I can type in P for the previous thing selected, and I can select more, but if I've moved something, then I want to copy it. I can say P. So if I if something went wrong and I have to undo, I can say P to select it again. So I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to go mid between two points. Shift and right click gets that. The first point of mid. The second point of mid. Now it grabbed it. It's just not selecting that point. So you see how it's it measured the points in between those two. I could always select the midpoint of that rectangle that I drew, but now since I grabbed the middle of that, I can set that down on the midpoint of that hidden plane. Now, is this going to be visible? No. So here's how we change things to another layer. I could match it to another layer, but I could simply select it and go up here and select hidden, and now it's a hidden layer. This whole this line will be complete all the way down there. That hole goes through that entire plane. This plane is planar back behind this boss. So we still have this hidden line, and this is going to be exactly like what it was over here. So all I had to do was copy it. A hole looks the same from the side in any direction. A round cylinder looks the same from the side in any direction. So we could copy from one view to another.